How do you explain this? It's, it's remote. It's probably something that you've never experienced before. And it's fun, and we take care of the people. Uh, my name's Phil Carlson. My wife Kathy and I own Trio Ranches and Trio Bike Tours. And Trio Ranches was started in 1987. Uh, we always put our biggest effort into the, the bird hunting, it's pheasant and chucker hunting. And now what we've, what we've been trying to do is find a, a, a second source of income. Bird hunting is from September to April 1st, and we needed something from April 1st to September. And finally we figured it out, uh, accidentally, it was bicycling. The first idea came in was 2009. My wife and I, we were at a Lutheran church on Sunday in the middle of nowhere, and, and we we're heading home and come upon a bunch of bicyclists. And I go, holy cow, what's this? And, and these bicycles were riding uphill, and when I'd pass them, they were smiling. And I thought, wow, you gotta be kidding. Somebody's riding at 85 degrees uphill on a Sunday, and they like it. And I thought, you know what? If they got a smile on their face and they like doing this in our area, this was our area, some of these people will want to stay overnight at our place and go out and ride these roads. And that's how it all begun. You know, a, a, a bicyclist that comes out into this area in a whole day, you may only see maybe five cars to 10 to 15 cars in the whole day. And most of those are gonna just be the farmers going back and forth and so you gotta you gotta remember that these farmers haven't seen bicyclists before you know or, or very few all they have to do is stay on their own side of the road you know it's called sharing the road and and just wave and smile I says you know they don't they don't even know who you are but if you wave and smile then they'll wave at you and they go well okay those bicycles are pretty good people so two years ago when we first started had our very first group out here. And now the lodge has four miles of gravel road to the paved highway. And every one of them says, you gotta do something with that gravel. He says, people hate gravel. And I says, now come on, there's gotta be something that's positive about a gravel road. They go, well, there isn't. There isn't anything positive. I says, well, that's county road. I says, they're not gonna pay four miles. I says, that's only a million dollars. They go, well, you still gotta do something. You gotta have pavement. Or this, this whole operation is not gonna work. And so that was the end. And next thing I know is get this phone call uh, from this guy out of Portland. I seen, uh, seen your Eastern Oregon. Do you got any gravel roads out there? I go, what? <laughs> he says, yeah, I read this article, and you're out in eastern Oregon, and by God, you ought to have some gravel roads, don't you? And I says, well, what do you want a gravel road for? He goes, because that's all I want to ride on. I don't want to ride on paved roads. And I said, who is this? <laughs> I thought it was some joke. He goes, I'm dead serious. And, and I says, well, it's not supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be paved only. He says, no, we want gravel only. He says, there is a big... Uh, following now of gravel road people over the United States. And I says, well, I am glad to hear your phone call. So that was the biggest shock that I've ever had on the bicycle part is, is uh, I actually have an asset. It's all about making people feel special, I guess, is what it is. They, when they're here, they just feel special. In a way, it's a good that I don't ride a bicycle because I can, I can feel for people that only want to ride 20 miles. There's nothing wrong with riding 20 miles. There's nothing wrong with riding just downhill. I mean, it's, it's, uh, we're not out here to, to uh, have forced marches out here. It's whoever you are, when you're here, you'll, you'll have fun and, and you'll feel special.